What was your reaction when the story came out that the Yankees could honor Alex Rodriguez? Should honor or that they actually invited him to Old Timers Day? Well, no, I thought that there was something about A-Rod talking about, you know, being uh, uh, put out in Memorial Park or uh, out there with all the legends. Well, a lot of people were asked that during Old Timers Day. I think the fact that Alex was invited to Old Timers Day, if you asked me that, Six years ago, I go, yeah, okay, that's going to happen. So time does heal some wounds. And when he was introduced to the crowd, there was a lot of love that came his way. There weren't boos. There were cheers for sure. Not the most of any Yankee. That still goes to Derek Jeter. I think it's a long way from putting into Monument Park. I, I, I really do. I mean, this is a guy. And I think if you look at his numbers, just look at his numbers, 696 home runs, three MVPs, two of them with the Yankees, a great World Series run in 09. He deserves to be out there for that. But this guy was also suspended from baseball for a year, and, and he was suing the team. So, I mean, there have to be a lot of, a lot of wounds that have to be healed before that would ever happen. I, wouldn't, I would never say never, but uh, it, it would be tough. But the Yankees love to celebrate these things, even though I, I wouldn't celebrate A-Rod with putting him out there, and I misspoke Memorial Monument Park. But, hey, it's the Yankee franchise. They do what they want to do, but um, – it seems like A-Rod still, like, how do you curry favor to get in the Hall of Fame? And, like, I just don't know. He, he's been relevant doing the Fox games, the ESPN stuff, and then I just wonder, is he ever going to get into the Baseball Hall of Fame, having been popped twice with steroids? I don't think he will. I don't think he will unless there's a seismic change of the people that are voting. You know, people have said, well, you know, people will die off and there'll be a younger generation of voters. Okay, then his 10 years on the ballot will be over, and then it'll be the hands of, of some kind of veterans committee. And I think a lot of the players want to keep the PED guys out. The, the sad part is, Dan, of all the people that have been kept out, like Bonds and Clemens and the like, um, the one that it hurts the most is A-Rod, because he is such a lover of baseball, and he understands the history of the game and what it means to be in Cooperstown. That would mean the world to him. But he also knows that he messed up in a big way. So I, I'm not sure he'll ever get into Cooperstown. I'm just not. You bring up a valid point, and I've heard that before, that you get younger voters, they aren't as offended by steroids. And I had Tim Kirchin on the show recently, and I said, it is a museum. And there's a lot of things in museums that uh, aren't uh, attached to good people, but they're still in a museum. Uh, are we treating the Hall of Fame like it's a little too pristine instead of let's use it to tell the story of baseball? All due respect, Dan, because you know I idolize you. I hate that argument. Hate it. It is a museum, and he's in that museum. Pete Rose is in that museum. That doesn't mean they get a plaque. The plaque is the ultimate in the Baseball Hall of Fame. So there are displays. You've got Pete Rose's bat there. You've got Alex Rodriguez um, from the 2009 World Series. So everybody is represented in the story of baseball. But just because it's a museum doesn't mean that they have to get a plaque. And that's where I would draw the line. Uh, and, and as for the, I, I think you bring up a great point about, you know, it, it's, it's treated as if it's a church. It's a sacrament. Uh, it's sacrilegious if you would let somebody in. That I don't like. And I love the way the baseball writers hold on to this and, and do treat it that way. But the one thing that they've messed up on, because I just watched the Pete Rose documentary on Max, the fact that they were ever had that Pete Rose vote taken out of their hands, they should have said, we will never vote for another player unless you let us vote for Pete Rose. That doesn't mean Pete Rose deserves to get in, but they should be the ones that decide. Once it was taken out of their hands, it shows you how much they just love that vote and how much it means to them because they should have stepped away and said, unless you give us a chance to vote on this guy, because we've done right by this hall, we've kept bad guys out, we've kept PED guys out, we should be allowed to vote for Pete Rose. And once the Baseball Hall of Fame took that out of their hands, they should say, okay, find another way to vote people in because we're out. But they didn't do that, and that's on them. 